So the whole experience started uh, a few weeks ago uh, with Sarah Springman, rector of ETH uh, Zurich, having the idea to create some kind of a workshop uh, in Singapore. And uh, we had the idea together with Gerhard Schmidt to focus on the future of urban uh, society. I really appreciated the um, focus on policy and, uh, and having some uh, excellent lectures from uh, world experts in, in policy design, people that actually do this in, in the real world, and uh, just exactly how that works. How do you communicate with government? How do you work with government? How do you make the science and technology have a real life impact? The aim of the workshop is to tackle complex problems societies of the future will face. Singapore is an island state, a city state, so the question of the urban is foregrounded in this year's workshop. Being Singapore played a crucial part in this because Singapore is a completely artificial um, environment. I mean, there is no way that an island as small as Singapore would be able to sustain six million people. And uh, so that meant that a lot of um, ingenious idea had to be manufactured to, to make life on this island possible. And I think that had a direct impact on, on our projects and how we developed our ideas. Um, I think if you had done this workshop in Switzerland, the, the results would be drastically different because just the scope of what you imagine possible in Switzerland is completely different to, to what you experience here. What I liked most about the workshop is to work in interdisciplinary groups with different people, with different backgrounds and learning about new approaches. So we put them in a situation in which, like the Open Working Group of the UN, uh, they had to negotiate that particular uh, goal and then during the course of the, the two weeks to find potential strategies of how to address their challenge. We thought that design could be the right platform, design thinking and design making, in order to find, uh, let's say, uh, potential negotiations uh, between uh, the students in order to solve certain uh, challenges. We all come from diverse backgrounds and uh, myself being from engineering, I know a limited, I have a limited knowledge about structure, but in the design thinking process we are put together with a group of people who are come with diverse backgrounds and during the brainstorming process we come up with really, really amazing ideas. I'm from mathematics so it completely takes me out of my comfort zone, I would say because you have to talk about general ideas and concept and to work in a team, which is also something I'm not usually doing. So that's really took me out of my comfort zone, but I really liked it. It has been something new, something that uh, goes beyond uh, the standard scholastic approach of university. And, and I think when I go back and apply this new knowledge or this design thinking approach to my own problem in my fields, uh, that will really help us, or help me and then my group, go forward with better solutions.